As most materials scientists know, so we assume you do too, impedance spectroscopy is a powerful materials characterization tool, giving rich data. Analyzing that data, however, is not so simple. The most common approach is to build an equivalent electric circuit, resistors, capacitors, etc., in parallel or in series. When an equivalent circuit behaves like the sample in question, theoretically the scientist can correlate different parts to different mechanisms. Theoretically. In practice, it can be problematic. There are many equivalent circuits with an identical response, so choosing one must be based on presumptions, which then turn around to be conclusions. Not exactly science at its best. Another approach is to not assume anything and try to find a best distribution function fit, most commonly a Fourier transform. The problem here is that we don't get much insight about the mechanisms. We see relaxation times, but don't know what they represent. Along comes Yoed Sur's group and asks, what if we take this approach and just assume the distribution function is made of peaks? So instead of finding a point-by-point -point function, the software they developed, ISGP, is choosing from a pool of peak functions, which could then be Gaussians, Lorentzians, etc. They let different combinations of these functions evolve through genetic programming. A possible solution gets bonuses for assets such as fitting the data or being simple. The best combinations get to produce the next generation of solutions, and the next and the next. What they found out is that this method is excellent in recognizing important, meaningful parameters. Peak location, area, and width of the peaks all arise directly from the parameters of the distribution function. We can later correlate them to physical behavior within the sample and study the effect of external parameters, like temperature or humidity, on the peak behavior. Peak type doesn't mean much, but the fact that ISGP has a library of peaks to choose from helps it to converge. For example, we can now measure the impedance spectroscopy of supercapacitors and to monitor degradation processes in it. Hopefully, in the future, we can measure and understand more and more complex systems. A whole fuel cell, if we are careful. So. ISGP is an efficient algorithm with very few presumptions, and the results it gives are relatively easy to relate to physical mechanisms. Could it be the new standard?